maybe now's a good moment to kind of give it a vlog debut. So hello, welcome to the vlog. It's just gone one o'clock on Saturday and I'm wandering back from a rehearsal that we've had with a few young people in the church and uh, something coming up just here on the left that you need to have a look at. So that up there is a bit of overnight snow on the mountain and uh, always makes you happy to see that. It's still I think a ways off before there's going to be any snow up there that stays up there but yeah look at that snow in the sunshine we don't know what's going to happen with snowboarding this winter the question is with the ongoing situation um, with corona is our ski centre is going to open or they're not going to open uh, but we have said even if we have to hike up a mountain on our own we're going snowboarding and uh, yeah we would do it at least once I'm sure um, <laughs> we probably wouldn't have the strength to do more than that but yeah obviously like at the moment I guess the question would be is a queue for a ski lift a gathering of people all those kind of things um, as I was we've said if you're wearing gloves and a helmet and a mask um, which most people are doing when they're snowboarding anyway um, maybe that's enough safety who knows who knows what's going to happen um, but definitely do hope we'll be out in the mountains this winter so uh, yeah it's always encouraging to see a bit of snow so it's Saturday afternoon and it really feels like it's time to go and lay down on the couch um, but before I do Rowan's going to explain what she was doing this morning So this morning um, I've been to three rehearsals. So the first one was uh, Novi Most Violin Group and we had a rehearsal in Dom Cultura where it was pretty cold um, but we did it and it was a good rehearsal. We learnt the beginning of a new song so that was cool. And then after that we went up, I went up to the church with one of the violin girls to another rehearsal where Matt and Buddha and the other guys were already rehearsing. She's doing like a song with the band with her violin singing and playing. So that was cool. And then after that, I went to the church, um, like the children's choir rehearsal for the Catholic Church. Because um, quite a lot of my students uh, are in that choir, but because they play instruments as well, the, the nun who runs the choir asked them to play, um, play along with the choir like an accompaniment. So I've been making parts for them to play. So I went along to the rehearsal just to help them kind of put it all together. And um, yeah. Did they put it all together? Yeah, a couple of songs. We didn't do all the songs today, but a couple of songs they put together. And yeah, it'll be good. I'm, I'll go for, like for the next few weeks whilst they get ready for Christmas to get all their Christmas songs ready. I think it'll be good. Speaking of Christmas, um, Rowan was very happy when we went into the supermarket a couple of nights ago and they had Christmas decorations on sale, which I think is like super early for November, but you're happy with that? Yes, I'm always happy with Christmas stuff. I've already been listening to Christmas music for about two weeks, maybe. Watched a few Christmassy kind of programs on Netflix, getting in the mood. So Rowan, yeah, is busy doing something here right now, um, which she'll also explain. Yeah, tomorrow it's my turn to do Sunday school and at the moment we're doing the Fruits of the Spirit and my uh, one for tomorrow is goodness. So at the moment I'm just cutting out some letters which I'm going to hide probably outside and then they have to find the letters and put them together to make the word to find out what we're going to do. And that's as far as I've got so far in the planning. What we're actually going to do once we've found the letters I still need to figure out. But... Um, one of the kids said to me a couple of weeks ago, 
I want to hunt for things outside again at Sunday school because we did that a few months ago for something. The lost sheep, I said, we were hunting for the lost sheep. And uh, so I thought, well, it's going to be cold tomorrow, but it's going to be sunny, so we can hide things outside and hunt for them. One last thing before we go, uh, and that is um, Rowan's trumpet is on there, mm -hmm. on the table here, which she's been enjoying. And maybe, maybe now's a good moment to kind of give it a vlog debut <laughs> in terms of how that actually goes. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think about that? I could try. <laughs> So like, like explain to someone who doesn't know like what's different about that than a normal um, trumpet. It's made of plastic and um, so it's really light but it's not a toy and the valves are different they've got springs inside them and um, so you don't need to put oil and clean them in the same way that you do on a normal trumpet but they still go up and down just the same and like the point of them is for kids who are beginners and who are young that they've got mm. something that's really light to hold but I like it too. <laughs> and what have the kids said? Have the kids seen it? Yeah. And they're like, oh, you've got a red trumpet, that's so cool. <laughs> but there is one boy who's got a red clarinet as well, that his, um, his like, next door neighbour has lent it to him. So his is a red plastic clarinet, oh. and we've got a red plastic trumpet as well, so you know. Yeah, so that's it, really. A bit of a sum up. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Do give us a big thumbs up for being in lots of rehearsals on a Saturday morning. And do leave us a comment or question if you want to know more. And do remember that together we do adventure. And we'll see you next time.